Let's okay. See. I call the meeting to order for this uh, July 7, 2020. Just before I start the meeting, uh, I just wanted to comment and say that how our hearts go out to the communities and our municipal friends to the south, in particular the southwest region, that have received some unprecedented amounts of rainfall in the last few weeks. And uh, we certainly hope that those people and residents and our colleagues out there are able to uh, get through this without too much damage and, and move on because it's, it's going to be a, a long process obviously for them. Second of all, <clears throat> in 2014 uh, municipal elections, we had a new addition to the Town of Swan River uh, Municipal Council. Uh, Councilor Morio was elected that year and uh, has been a, an excellent uh, addition to Council in voicing uh, community concerns and, and so forth and, and been a positive person representing the people of the town of Swan River, <clears throat> in particular, um, in different areas, obviously, but uh, also sit sitting on several different boards as well that he's taken on, uh, definitely with, uh, with a lot of um, uh, ambition, and uh, we look forward to the next two years, uh, for sure, and, and beyond. But today, uh, unfortunately, because of uh, COVID, we didn't get a chance to give, but early AMM give him his five-year service uh, pin. So I'm here tonight to present Councilor Morio with his five-year AMM uh, pin. So Councilor Morio, if you want to come up. Is that six feet? Is that six feet? <laughs> well, they're age two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, I also want to freeze them here on board. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, <clears throat> resolve that the agenda for the July 7, 2020 regular meeting of council be adopted as received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, second by Councilor White. All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> Should we let it buy us drinks? <laughs> yes, that's possible. Yeah, that's a good idea. All in favor? There we go. Resolve that the minutes of this uh, of the June 16, 2020 regular council meeting and the June 23, 2020 special meeting be received and approved. Moved by Councilor Gray, seconded by Councilor Delorier. All in favor? It's carried. Moving on to receptions and delegations 4.1. We have with us. Uh, our friends from the Arm of Livingston, Saskatchewan, uh, Mr. Mark Maga and Kelly Kim Reed. Welcome, and uh, I'll, uh, obviously we're talking about fire protection, so um, I'll let you make your presentation, and if there's any other questions from council afterwards, or even from our fire chief, we'll proceed from there. So welcome, and you may proceed. I guess we're just back to the same Things we were here before. Um, going back into our records, uh, and I'm not sure who would have been on council at the time when, when the agreement was made. Uh, we had paid in 2016 just under three thousand dollars as a, a levy or as a retainer, I guess. And personally, I don't know why it was anything was even left from 17. 18, 19, that, that was before I came on, I guess, and why, why nothing was done with it beforehand. But uh, to go up to a $21,000 levy from $3,000 is quite a jump, I guess. Um, and, you know, we, we pay uh, another, we pay the Iron Mapelli, or the Town Mapelli, or it's called. Highway 49, are we? 5,500. For three divisions, uh, or four divisions. So, you know, we, we, we think it's a little steep on uh, on that. So, you go ahead, Councilor Delorier. I, I guess I just, just wanted to stop you before you went any further, but um, you'd mentioned the 21,000. Did you not get the updated? 
uh, calculation with once we've we figured out the differences between the Manitoba and Saskatchewan and the way the assessments are calculated. Yeah. Um, it should be 12379 now. That is it's not. Okay. That was yeah. But still. Yeah. And, and I guess just, just some background on that. It costs us about a quarter million dollars to operate our fire department. And the way our, our the principal we, we basically charge even ourselves for is is we look at it as though it's an insurance. So what, what are we protecting? Because if you, if you look back historically, say from the, the early 80s, we probably have a third of the fire calls that we have now now compared to back then eventually there will come a time where we'll have you know less people burning wood better uh better uh infrastructure in our home, better smoke detectors where there may not if, if we used to charge based on calls it uh that worked for a while but there may come a time where we have the overhead this quarter million dollar overhead and there's no calls and i mean we've had no calls to the rm of Livingston for, for quite some time, but we still have to have the, the ability to provide that protection. So our, our, our rationale is we, we, we charge based on the, the value of what we're protecting. So Livingston makes up about 5% of the of the value of, of we, we covered four municipalities, town of Swan River, a portion of Swan Valley West, a portion of Minnetonas Bozeman, and a portion of Livingston. So that's that's basically where that number came from. We didn't just pick it out of out of the air, so just wanted to put, make, make sure that you don't receive the updated calculation. So, good. Unit twelve thousand dollars is that operating cost and capital cost? That includes is that just operating. That includes a twelve uh, twenty one thousand dollar capital contribution. Yes. Okay. So then, would we actually own a share if we're going to start paying capital cost? So we can put it into our asset management. I, I can't see why not. You have to check your municipal affairs department, but yeah, that's what we normally do. But we're just asking for operating because technically, I I have no idea how it would work with the provincial boundary. We don't want to own part of the fire department because we already own part of others. Um, and for me to capitalize five percent of a fire department. Yeah, that's pretty far reaching to do that. And I think looking back, now I'm new too, so my access to the records that were there before, the levy that we used to pay for you, pay to you for our fire charges, was just based on operating costs, not capital. I, I think that that'll be a you know item for further discussion. We're not going to get into negotiations okay. here at the yeah. table. You can relay what you want, and then obviously the council feels differently mm -hmm. or need to look into what the provisions are as far as if it's an asset being owned or not being owned or, or whatever you, what you prefer. Then that's something that we would have to have a, a discussion about. Oh, sorry. Great. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So if you want to proceed, if you can. Well, I guess, you know, that's just something we'll have to, you know, take that up with our, with our side to see uh, what direction we can go and whatever, what other avenues we can look at, I guess, to, to make it more affordable for, you know, for the minimal amount of people that are actually using the service. You know, what, that, that's the biggest thing is it, it puts a quite a burden on a very small population to, uh, you know, to, to deal with that. So. Yeah, and I, and I think that we all realize that, but we do have, like Councilor DeLore said, the cost of what our fire department is and, and what we and how we negotiate uh, with our municipal partners as far as how that comes, um, what that levy may look like. And also, um, um, <clears throat> the fact that is that we're looking at as being like more or less an insurance, because you may not necessarily need that protection you know, every single month or year or whatever. But the thing is, it's there in case if it does come to be. <clears throat> well, well, I guess we'll just have to uh, decide what we want to do with it. And we'll, I guess, we we'll have to get back to you and see what direction we want to go. Okay. And then that's something that we can, we, we'll also <coughs> have to talk about with our, with administration as far as the capital piece of it, if that's something that, 
we can look at it. So. And that's something I'm totally aware of how all that works. Yeah, neither am I. But, I mean, we do have people here that can figure that out for us. Councilor Gray. Assuming for the sake of discussion, there wasn't going to be a charge for capital, there'd still have to be a rent, like a cost for the equipment, because the equipment costs money. And so the cost of operation is what we would have to charge is the equivalent of the capital. It doesn't make any difference. It's not going to change the number. Because we, apparently, they don't let us buy 95% of the fire truck. At least I don't think they do. Okay. Is there any other comments in or? Questions? Okay. Council? Okay. So I guess we're still talking a little bit yet, so we'll see where this goes and we'll have our administration communicate a little bit more to you. So, and hear from you as well as far as administration piece of it goes. <coughs> okay. Okay. Well, just one second, I guess we're not done. We have a council meeting tomorrow. Okay, so within 10 days, we'll go back within two or three. Yeah. Council uh, White. For the sake of both parties, uh, I certainly appreciate where you guys are coming from, absolutely. But we're talking, I think, about two years now, and I, for one, would sort of like to just come to fruition and make a decision. I obviously went down to 7,000 and 5,000, what we thought was originally that might have made it for a golf or may not have. But I'm hoping that. Uh, I would never, like a month from now, a decision would be made for your sake yeah. and ours. Is it fair to put a timeline on that? They're just in. They're just in. They're just in. They're by the end of the week. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I'm going to buy a hearing aid also. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you. It, you need to be done because our right pairs are, you know, yeah. Thank you. Oh, for sure. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming thank in. You. <clears throat> okay, moving on to 6, 6.1. Result of the Swan Valley Regional Initiative for a Strong Economy resoluted, resolution, sorry, dated May 21, 2020, be received as information. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Deputy Mayor Antoni. Discussion? Just for everyone's Councilor benefit. Gray. I'm sorry, Richard. Just for everyone's benefit, Councilor Morio asked me, so, so everyone's clear what the resolution means. The numbers at the top for the 2019 year, because the Swan Valley. Um, Swan Valley West um, only be half of their contribution. Everybody, as a result, we changed the assessments. That's the top part of that resolution. And because Mountain and the town just wanted to pay their full assessments, they were to get a refund equal to um, those amounts. Minotonis's amount was slightly over half, uh, and so they only get $104 back. And then this is going back to the meeting that the municipalities had that had agreed yeah. on this. Yeah. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 6.2. Result of the building permits 3720 through 4620 with a total estimated value of $275,100 be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <clears throat> 6.3. Result of the memo received by email from tax service on June the 29th, 2020, regarding the 2020 tax sale process be received as information. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? Councillor Morio. Um, just to confirm administration, we had already started our process, correct? We had started and then suspended. So we're, we're part of the, yeah. the, the process where it started? Yes. Okay, so the, the process is began then? What is on hold. Pardon? We were just on hold as the province had asked us to do. Right. Anyways, yeah. Okay. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Seven point one. <clears throat> Resolve the director of public works report be received. Moved by Councillor Gray. Seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion. All in 
favor, oh, Councillor okay, Councillor Dipperman and went told me, and then Councillor Morio. Uh, <clears throat> just in regards to uh, Main Street um, West. West, thank you. Um, I see that work is going on there, and and it's what we wanted. I just have a question: if we are taking, um, or if there's a way to take into consideration businesses on on that on that street, um, and if there's anything that we might be able to do to, to assist in um, not creating business, but ensuring that customers are able to to visit their locations. Um, I'm not exactly familiar with exactly how the roadblocks are, but if you can just give me a, a rundown, Mr. Poole, and, and let me know how that's working out, and if there have been concerns from businesses, and if we are taking any steps to, to help them. Uh, I've knocked on all the doors. Some answered, some didn't, so I haven't talked to 100% of them face-to-face, -face, but the ones that I have are... Uh, they understand why we're there. They, of course, would choose not to be, but it's it's necessary. So it's I haven't received any formal complaints of, uh, on the project. So they they've all they've all been you know I guess good and positive uh, towards the project. I know it's it's going to take some time, uh, but uh, people can access those businesses through through the side streets, the avenues, back lanes. Uh, we've covered up the, the temporary water lines so people can drive across them. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard anything too negative from the businesses down there other than the actual project happening. Okay. No worries. It's a good answer. Thank you very much. Councilor Moore. Um, on the same project that um, with the turning of valves and stuff like that, are looks like you're experiencing some other water main breaks farther down in the, the flats down there that uh... we, we tested all the valves prior to the project but to no surprise uh three of them have have failed one of them to where to the point where we had to replace it but uh two other ones are leaking uh, pretty steadily but not enough to where it's filling the trench and causing any any serious delays of course the one caused we lost a day or over a day due to a, a leaking valve but uh uh, any further delays in the due to the weather. And so, so with that, like, the, the cost of repairing those valves has been a consequence. Uh, uh, is the cost of those going to be attached to that project? As of right now, they were put on on our uh, utility operating trans transmission distribution, but that will be determined at the end of the project. Okay. And then another topic here uh, in the engineering uh, with the, the the well site final is that. Project now, uh, where it is it finalized, complete, or is it still deficiencies there? There's, there's still uh, a number of deficiencies that need to be. Okay. So they're, they're, they're very small, but uh, they're still listed. Okay, that just clarifying that statement was an L in order. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Councillor Gray. I, I, it's not really a question. I just want to give your, your people a kudos both in terms of uh, the repairs that I've asked for and. Uh, in terms of upgrading the uh, cutting grass and parts and so on, uh, it's spectacular. That's not a lot. Um, the, the one question I do have is um, uh, you are uh, the deputy mayor no longer owning the business. There's the road pass where you used to have the road on the other side in front of a uh, tire. Okay, tire. Okay, tire. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, are we planning on doing something with those roads, which are incredibly the uh, So in front of OK Tire, the, the province owns that road. So back when it was paid, the town paid for the pavement against the province's wishes. So if it was up to the province to maintain that pavement, they wouldn't. They told us they will take the pavement away and put it back to gravel. They, uh, they have worked with us in the, in the repair uh, basically putting the cold mix asphalt, we put some crushed asphalt on there, but that service road is is owned by MIT and they, they're they pretty hesitant when it comes to putting the uh, hot mix asphalt or full repair. We have asked them for a, a full project uh, excavating the base and 
that was probably four years ago, so we would have to ask them again that it's on our our plans to see if they would be willing to cost share. Uh, I'm not as worried quite candidly with the ash fault. I'm worried about the fact that there are foot and a half holes on the gravel parts and the front the heck out of any car drives down. I'd be mm -hmm. saying one thing across the street. Yeah, as they as they own it, we will, we will let them know. Get, uh, uh, and you across the street, like south of the, from, the water treatment plant? It, no, from why not Johnny's to Ross. That's Curry Street. Curry, Curry Street. Road. That's right. That's our road. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, but it's it's also not. It could use some gravel. Okay. okay. That is me. I'm good. All right. For the discussion, <clears throat> all in favor? Opposed? Carried. 721. Result that the June 2020 Swan River Handy Transit Van report be received as information. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Morio. All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> 7.3. Uh, CO, or sorry, Council reports. We'll start with Councillor Friesen. Do <laughs> so, you want me to come back to you? <laughs> I have a report. I've been fireworks were great and, and uh, lots of comments. That's what it would be. And thank you for all what you did in organizing and everything else and the people that assisted with you and, and the residents and so forth. But thank you. you. You do a really good job of organizing that every year. Thanks. <clears throat> Council Morial. Um, we, two weeks now, we had the special meeting of the G4 councils. We had a number of topics where we discussed um, that are in the works, which um, CT scanners, shared um, purchase service agreements, et cetera, and stuff like that. So it um, seemed to be a fairly <coughs> uh, well meeting that went along, but it uh, um, would be nice to see more of our participants from our neighboring municipalities attend an important meeting um, like that. So, um, a lot of positive comments on the fireworks display that we had this year that we enhanced uh, with the high uh, fireworks. Um, with that, people were very appreciative of it, um, especially as one of the few communities in Manitoba that actually went ahead with the fireworks um, this year. Um, so. Thanks to the committee uh, for that. Um, also, with the. Uh, yeah. Okay, Deborah Pellatoni. Um, <clears throat> first of all, congratulations to you, uh, Mr. Morio, on your five year pin. Um, kudos and thank you for all your efforts over the years. Uh, just a shout out to Councillor uh, Friesen and the team that put together the fireworks display. Um, heard many compliments and I was there and my little guy enjoyed those as well. Uh, we had our G4 meeting that Councillor Morio mentioned. Um, it's um, great that we have those meetings. It's just very disappointing to um, have such a low attendance in, in regards to all the councils being there. So hopefully that changes next time round. And RISE is on its uh, final selection, I guess you could say, of hiring an EDO. So we should see a, an EDO um, for RISE coming shortly. Other than that, that's all I have. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Councilor Uh On the library board meeting, we received our 2019 audited financial statements. Uh, there's nothing out of the ordinary. I think they're on our agenda later on tonight. Um, uh, the uh, we received a grant from the province to do some paving at the Benito Library, and that's going to be funded. Uh, our country, the library's contribution, should be funded from some Benito only donations. Um, and we had the G four meeting. Uh, other than that, uh, that was it for me. Oh, I, one other thing to report: I had a. Concerned citizen, can we put on our next town meeting discussion around parking around the library? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. Councillor White. 
Uh, the chief for meeting has been explained. Uh, I echo uh, my peers' points that when we talk about things like CT scanners and shared services, that it's important for all members to be present so they know all the data, all the information that they take it back to the respective councils. Uh, we had a, a committee of the whole meeting also took at our, our CEO search, which is uh, evolving. We had a uh, teleconference with Prime Mountain Health. And I guess the bottom line is we, got, we can't be letting down. Things are going really, really good in Manitoba, and it's because we've been proactive. We've been maintaining our distance. Uh, some people are very good at wearing their masks. And the worst thing to do is become complacent, so uh, I certainly echo that concern. We had three meetings tonight uh, in a row before this one, and I thank the team for making those things happen. On the 22nd, interestingly, we're, uh, I'm part of a team taking on Travel Manitoba, and the Councilor uh, Deputy Mayor and Tony's team have brought these people in, so we get the pleasure of spending the afternoon in the Duck Mountain area of Welma Lake and talk about Swan Valley Sport Fish activities. 24,000 are to char, only place short of the yard, I think we're going to get them, and I suspect that will be a boon economically to our community. Our community. Uh, just a couple of quick uh, asides. Uh, I drove by the arena today at 2 33 o'clock, and there's some activities taking place there. There's 30 or 40 little kids this far apart. That concerned me as a parent for those kids. I'm not sure what the protocol protocols are, and who's looking after that. And after many nudges, as we all have had, I'm hoping that the pool is moving on at rapid speed, whether we have insurance or no insurance. The hot tub and the pool are going to be fixed. And I, I suspect uh, interim CAO Patty Hickman will be more than willing to answer questions people have specific to timelines and dates. They're working there, they're trying to make it happen, they're moving as fast as they can. And thank you, Phil, and your team, because I know none of us do anything without our team for the Canada celebrations. Thank you. <clears throat> Councilor Fries and the other something. Just want to tell you to thank Dr. Okay. Burnside. Mention Mr. Burn, Dr. Burnside. Well, he came to our G4 and did an excellent presentation. Dr. Burnside said it in Tracy form, no CT, no surgeon. No surgeons, no maternity. No maternity, no anesthesia. We need to see these guys. End the discussion. Thank, Thank you for inviting me. Councilor White, is that it? Thank you. Okay, Councilor Gray. Thank you. The, um, I want to join everyone in, in saying what a good job because you know, everyone did on the fireworks. It was truly uh, spectacular. Um, Southern Services met. We're, we're, funding, we're functioning really well. Uh, we've got a couple of policy issues we're deciding, but um, they are having a, an event in the park. Um, this Saturday with social distancing and everything. I'm not sure exactly what they're serving, but they're going to be doing it in Legion Park. I assume that they've talked to other people about doing that. Uh, and I've just decided to drop in and do it. They do. Okay. Um, I can uh, confirm what uh, Councillor Tony has said. We've got, uh, we're moving on rise. Everybody seems to be working cooperatively. We have a, a good structure of what we're doing, and we're in the next to last phase of developing a of uh, hiring a government officer. Um, pass something. We do have to reconsider some of the uh, district recreation um, stuff, I think, because there's a, a bit of a wrinkle. I think the, there's a whole group that has access to a, a, a uh, we call it, the, the fund for uh, uh, authorizing um, provincials and stuff. That's so we, we I, I don't know if we pass all of the necessary things. We should talk about that next next time, next cow. Okay. Um, um, just in terms of the pool, it's gone out. Some of the queries have gone out for tender, and so there's not a lot to answer. The answer is when the tenders come in, we'll award the contract, and they'll do it when they do it. So um, don't get the date out of the call. Um, notwithstanding your generous offer over time, I expect you other things to do. Um, just two things, Mr. Mayor. Um, the first is, might we get either the, uh, this uh, committee the whole meeting on uh, next Tuesday or tonight, debrief a little bit on the G4? Because I, I think we need to talk a little bit about the attendance and about what that meant and how that looks for us, and particularly in the shared services. And I don't care when we do it, we need to do it at some point. Uh, 
um, this time I'll try and not um, say what a great idea it is. I mean, who shows up as surprising on the agenda? Uh, and the other is in terms of the agenda, should we at some point talk about our agenda? Uh, because we now have both our directors coming in, it seems to me that we would want to deal with their matters at the beginning of our agenda as opposed to, to the end, so that they wouldn't necessarily have to sit through um, council presentations, for instance. <laughs> So at some point, what, what, what some meeting, some council? Councilor Friesen. Sorry, I keep adding to people. The settlement services, I still get emails from them. And if you'd like to go to the park, like 12, 12, noon, 12 noon on Saturday. At the park, yeah. they need to know how many are coming so they can have right. appropriate food. So if anybody needs their email address. Or just go down to the shop and visit them. Yeah, exactly. It's OK. It's good. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Just one quick thing, Ms. Hangelman, is everybody seeing us on Facebook because the TV is going in and out and it's toying with my eye, but are they... It's fine. It's just, it's just a bar. Okay. I just don't want our citizens to be seeing black for... No okay. Perfect. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So everybody's still live with us. <clears throat> For me, I guess besides um, uh, the G4 out of that, I certainly hope that the municipalities will see the importance of the CT scanner and the contributions and how what we're trying to organize as far as fundraising efforts towards that goal. And uh, I know there's resolutions that are going to come later about that, but definitely the province is, is exploring the idea of have us having a, a CT scanner and that will require some municipal um, dollars and some fundraising dollars as well. <clears throat> um, with RISE out of that meeting, I think it's, it's, uh, I think it's important that um, we're going to see a new constitution out of that RISE, uh, for RISE and perhaps see some new uh, community people sitting on RISE. So, I'm looking forward to uh, moving forward. We've had these discussions before, but trying to um, encourage or have a system in place that more and more people that want to be sitting on boards uh, for the municipality and empowering them to help us do better. Because there are people out there that want to help us <clears throat> and make their community a much better place, not only for the town of Swan River, but the entire Swan Valley. Today, CN announced that they will be in, uh, reinvesting $105 million into the system across Manitoba, and uh, they'll be focusing mainly on maintenance, you know, including rail ties, bridges, and so forth. But uh, uh, I kind of reached out to the uh, CN today, and hopefully that they would continue to reinvest in our line, which they have. We've seen over the last, I think, three years. They've had substantial uh, upgrades to... Uh, time maintenance and, and rail uh, maintenance as well. So hopefully that uh, that continues on because as we know, um, the rail line is, is is vital for for our valley and for our producers and and, and other uh, manufacturing uh, businesses. And besides that, whatever's mentioned, that's it for me. Uh, Miss Hickelman, do you have anything to add? No, I think we're just kind of moving along here. Days holidays, so this school is covered, um, so that was great. And we have, a, as I mentioned, we have the new uh, bylaw officer started on July 13th, so hopefully we can get moving on on that to get that that taken care of. Excellent. Okay, and just as a reminder, it was mentioned earlier, but we do have a call meeting on July the 14th. <clears throat> okay, so moving on. 8.1, result of the application for conditional use to 2020 be received and, and public hearing be held on July the 21st, 2020 at 7.30 p.m. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion, Councilor Friesen. Okay, all in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <clears throat> 8.2, resolve the Swan Valley Regional Initiative for a Strong Economy audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2019, be received. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. 
Discussion, comments from our RISE representatives? There we go. Okay, any questions, comments? Okay, all in favor? Opposed, it's carried. <clears throat> 8.3 resulted the Northwest Regional Library audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2019, be received. Moved by Councillor Delorier, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion? Anything, Councillor Delorier? Uh, no, we're giving a clean bill of health. I can try and answer any question if anybody has. Okay, for the discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.4, 8.41, sorry. Whereas the purchase of a CT scanner to be used at Swan Valley Health Center would benefit all residents of the Swan River Valley. And whereas all municipalities of the Swan River Valley are in support of purchasing such CT scanner. And whereas a proposal has been put forward to the province of Manitoba to see that a CT scanner be purchased for the Swan River Valley, and one of the principal outlined in the proposal was that the capital cost of the CT scanner would come from the Swan River Valley. And whereas it has been reiterated many times by our local physicians that a CT scanner will contribute greatly to our ability to retain existing and recruited new physicians. Therefore, be it resolved that the town of Swan River agrees to use $600,000 from the G7 Physical Physician Retention and Recruitment Fund towards the purchase of a CT scanner. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Delorier. Discussion, Councillor, or Deputy Mayor Wintoni. I think in that, I would just like to see a minimum in the resolution um, where it says um, 600,000, I would like maybe perhaps it to say a minimum of 600,000. That doesn't necessarily um, exclude us to using more if, if or, less. Or, more or less if, if there was a self support that would be for any case. Okay, so if council agrees, then move her to seconder. I, I guess in light of the fact that this is going to four other councils, and one of the items, you know, you know, I wasn't there for the entire discussion, so you, I'm going to ultimately defer to you guys, but I'm just throwing this out there. But one of the points that was brought up, that there was some concern that there may be people eager to deplete that. Uh, putting the word minimum in there leaves it open-ended to the top end. It may validate some of those concerns that, that we would want to deplete that. I mean, we can always, if, if we have a valid case to take another $200,000 out, we can always pass another resolution and, and see at that time. But I guess there's two more resolutions coming that that outline where uh, a plan of where the uh, rest of the monies may come from. So I, I guess if, if, if it's still the will that, uh, I guess I'm the move or a seconder on this, so I would support a, an amendment if it's still, if you're still requesting an amendment, but I just wanted to throw that out there that there was some concern brought up that, that there may be some people too, in their mind, too eager to, to deplete this. And, and I guess this guards against it that for, for right now it's 600,000. And, I, and, and you're right, and, and I guess I just, my concern is that um, there might be those out there who will only want to take 600000 out, and if there were issues with fundraising or whatever the case may be, I looked at the other one, it might put our taxpayers on hold or on the hook for the rest of it not being able to take it out. But I mean, we can always, you're right, always do another resolution to take an additional set of funds, so I'm I'm okay either way. And, and I guess you know if, if people are, you know, I, I'm sure if we have 98 percent of the, the money and we need another hundred thousand out of here, I, I would I would struggle to uh, to come to grips with somebody who would who would sh scuttle the whole project over that. So I, I mean I think we can always deal with the facts of the situation as they arise in the future, so. Councilor Gray. I'm going to reiterate something that you said it before. It doesn't matter where we take the money from, I don't care. And, and quite candidly, I'm not much in favor of depleting a fund that takes a long time to build up because it's going to take a long time to rebuild it. 
And, and the Dog Recruitment Fund is a significant factor both in economic development and in care and life in the community. And one of the objectives that we had agreed on as part of our strategic plan, um, I voiced and lost my opinion at the G4 meeting that, that really it, it, what we want is a, a, an agreement from the municipalities that they would pay their proportionate share of the cost of the CD scanner. And if we need to draw on the doctor recruitment fund, then we should draw on it. If we need to draw on the community, on the foundation funds, we should draw on it. But um, you know, not, it's like us drawing down all of our um, um, shrinking funds. What do we call them here? Reserves. Previously, um, in, in past years, I, I was never. I couldn't understand it. Didn't understand then. I don't understand it now. So I'm fine with this. I don't care. What I'm more and I'm, I'm less concerned with the issue of whether or not the six hundred thousand dollars is a minimum than I am with exactly the concern that Council uh, that Councilor Gloria raised. Um, I don't want this viewed as any right or or capacity or or thought by any of the municipal councils, including ours, to in any way diminish what we need to contribute to make sure that we continue to have the doctor recruitment fund. If we happen to use it because there's a pot of money and we're going to replenish it. Fair enough, but if the idea is that we're going to use it and then forget about it, then I would not be in favor of doing that, and I think each council should pay their share. So I, I'm perfectly willing to support the resolution. I just am more concerned with the after effects, um, and I would like to see what the other councils do. So <clears throat> I get the feeling that council's okay with the resolution as it stands. So if there's any further discussion, all in favor? Opposed, it's carried. <clears throat> Whereas the purchase of the CT scanner to be used at the Swan Valley Health Center would be benefit to all residents of the Swan River Valley. And whereas all municipalities of the Swan River Valley are in support of purchasing such CT scanner. And whereas a proposal has been put forward to the province of Manitoba to see that a CT scanner be purchased for the Swan River Valley and one of the principles outlined in the proposal was the capital cost of the CT scanner would come from the Swan River Valley. And whereas it had been reiterated many times by our local physicians that a CT scanner will contribute greatly to our ability to retain existing and recruiting new physicians. Therefore, be it resolved the town of Swan River along with other municipalities of the Swan River Valley to jointly submit a request to the Swan Valley Health Facilities Foundation. This request being a contribution be made by the foundation towards the capital cost of the CT scanner in the amount of $300,000. Moved by Councillor Delorier, second by Councillor White. Discussion? Same point. Yeah, all in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> 843, whereas the purchase of the CT scanner would be used at the Swan Valley Health Center would benefit all residents of the Swan River Valley, and whereas all municipalities of the Swan River Valley are in support of purchasing such CT scanner, and whereas a proposal has been put forward to the province of Manitoba to see that a CT scanner be purchased for the Swan River Valley, and one of the principal outline in the proposal was that the capital cost of the CT scanner would come from the Swan River Valley, and whereas it has been reiterated many times by our local physicians that a CT scanner will contribute greatly to our ability to retain existing and recruiting new physicians. And whereas it is proposed that funding for this endeavor should come from a variety of sources, including the G4 Medical Recruitment and Retention Fund, the Health Facilities Foundation, as well as community fundraising. Therefore, be resolved that the town of Swan River agrees to contribute its share towards any shortfall in the community fundraising amount Share, shares of any shortfall should be determined using the 2016 census. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor White. Discussion? Councillor Gray. But, but I do have two small amendments. Okay. In the, in the actual resolution, which is the last paragraph, after its share, uh, or after its, before share, were proportionate. And um, all of the words of the community fundraising amount, I, I, I think should be deleted. That is, if for whatever reason the doctor we're doing fund gives us 500,000, this is so important, we should just do it. 
So you're saying not to bother with any community funding? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that that, that it's, right now we would only we're only authorizing if, if there's a shortfall in community fundraising money. What if in fact we raise um, 1.3 million dollars, but it costs 1.5 million dollars? We clearly you should be contributing that other share. What if they, I agree with community shortfall, but what if the foundation only gives two hundred thousand dollars, or what if the doctor recruitment fund funds only give four hundred thousand dollars? I don't care what the shortfall is. We should contribute our proportionate share of whatever it takes to buy the CT scan. Yes, I, I agree. I agree with what you're saying. There. That makes sense. Yeah. So, can you help Ms. Hinkleman as far as yeah? No, after the word shortfall, the the next one, two, three, four, five words are deleted. It's proportionate share towards any shortfall. Period. Period. Just refresh the shortfall. Okay, so I will let uh, Councillor Morio go. Just, uh, I think it's just a typo in the last whereas um, you have G four in the original one we had G seven medical recruitment. So sure. I think it should be consistent. Yeah, good point. Good cap. So. I think it was originally G7, but now we're G4, so one of the resolutions needs to be typo corrected. Since we've already corrected one, or we're already fast, let me take this out of this one. <laughs> okay, um, was that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, Councilor DeWarty. I, I guess I'm, I'm fully in favor of, of this resolution as it stands now and of the previous two resolutions, but I do want to reiterate that it's always concerned me getting involved in funding health care. It is, it, it's ultimately a provincial responsibility, but it's been proven time and time again that nobody's going to look after us but us. So it, 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 it's really unfortunate that we have to do it, but, but it, is, it is what it is. But it does send us down a very slippery slope. So I... I guess I, what's the word, re reluctantly am, am in favor of these for the fact that I, I think they're great ideas, but it, we shouldn't even have to be considering these at all. I, I would agree with that, because um, I've always have, but um, from one premier I spoke to several years ago, but I think that you have to also remember that a lot of times when the province, if it's health, it says that we are willing to work together with, say, if it's the clinic or, or whatever initiative, they usually look for the municipalities to offer some type of um, uh, share as far as capital costs goes. So this, I don't think, would be any different. Yeah, under legislation, there is a community component of any ca of any capital, and it's 10%, I believe. So right. where this is much more than Well, 10%. sure it is, yes. But, but we understand what the importance of this is. Yes. We're pushing as far as we can, so... So I'll just rewrite, re read the bottom of so the last sentence just so that, uh, because it has been changed slightly. So, so therefore, be resolved the town of Swan River agrees to contribute its proportionate share towards any shortfall. Shares of any shortfall shall be determined using the 2016 census. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <coughs> Delorme. Yeah, on these three resolutions, uh, Ms. Hinkleman, will you forward the modified for each municipality to that respective municipality, like where it says Town of Swan River, put Swan Lake West End or whatever? And then can you forward also a copy of all three resolutions to MLA Wolchuk's office? Good idea. Councilor White. And they asked for confirmation and receipt of information. I just I'm gun shy that we said stuff and we, we don't know that we got it or not. Okay, moving on, 10.1. Resolve that the accounts as false be hereby approved for payment. General accounts check number 26264 to 26399 for a total of $897,747.80. Check number 26350 was voted due to an incorrect amount reissued as check number 26368. Payroll counts checks number 4683 to 4688 for a total of 97367 and 49 cents. 
payroll accounts, checks number 4689-24693 for a total of $20,167.93. Moved by Councillor Morio, seconded by Deputy Mayor Tony. Discussion, Councillor Morio. Um, so check number 26278, the Ferris Law. Um, just going back from memory, and I might be wrong, but was in the agreement, wasn't the purchaser supposed to pay for part of some of the legal fees? If the administration just double check that, I think we double check that. Um, I think in that particular uh, agreement it that 50 -50. it was 50 50. Okay. But you can confirm that, but I'm positive that it was. Okay. And then, second question, check number 26284, uh, Mr. Poole, innovative surface solution for asphalt cold mix. Um, normally, don't we get that as a in kind trade with MIT and things? Uh, we do see them put the um, uh, we, we purchased in 2018 $10,000. It lasted us two years. It's been a, it's been a while since we've used the MIT's cold mix. Okay. Yeah. Back to the beginning. Good. That's it. Councillor Gray. Just going back to the, because I saw it and, and asked in advance, the actual legal bill that you gave 100% of the bill, including all of the disbursements, which we fully registered. <laughs> That cannot, I mean, if that agreement was signed in that form, that cannot be the agreement ever again. Uh, we should not be paying the legal fees. And in fact, I've dealt with a number of municipalities now, um, not ours, of course, um, in terms of acquiring properties. And the legal fees in, in most municipalities, their position is that if you're going to buy a plan, you pay all of the fees. So um, at minimum, we should only pay our share of the fees. And when we're the vendor, all we should pay are fees. We should pay no disbursements. So fees and taxes is all we should pay. Secondly, the amount charged is significant um, for the value of the water. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.2. <clears throat> Resolved that the 2020 capital budget included $300,000 for a garbage truck to be borne by the machinery replacement reserve, and the truck has been purchased at a net cost of uh, net sorry purchasing at a cost net GST of $248,833.52. Be it hereby resolved that the $248,833.52 be transferred from the machinery replacement reserve fund to the general operating fund. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 11.1. Resolved that the bylaw three, 2020 being a bylaw to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for rehabilitation of water mains, water and sewer services, road structure and drainage, and the provision for temporary water services, including all auxiliary works thereof, <clears throat> thereof on Main Street from Provincial Trunk, uh, Trunk Highway number 83 to the CN Rail Crossing be read a second time. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion, Councillor Morio. Uh, just a comment to the administration, uh, Mr. Poole. Um, since the province is happy writing out infrastructure checks, so maybe we can uh, definitely make it well known that we have this uh, project on the road that's currently being funded by the town, that uh, any contribution grants towards that project um, for, from their infrastructure funds um, would be greatly appreciated. I can drop the letter. I know some of the ministers are aware that they yeah. didn't see any applications come through and stuff like that, so they only going to approve or grant towards projects that they're aware of. So. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 
eleven two. Resolved that the bylaw four, bylaw, sorry, bylaw number four, two thousand twenty, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for police protection as a special service for the town of Swan River for the years two thousand and twenty and two thousand and twenty one, both inclusive, be read a second time. Moved by Deputy Mayor Watoni, seconded by <coughs> Councillor White. Discussion. All in favor? It's carried. 11-3, sorry, Councillor Delorier. My brain is working really slow, but can I ask Should a I question? Slow down a little no, bit but can I, can I ask a question on 10.2? 10.2? Yeah. Or, You're going to take us all the way back? Well, if, if I'm allowed to. If not, that's fine. I'll grant it. Okay. When we, right now, we're taking the full amount 260 out, but we get the GST rebated, correct? Uh, GST is rebated. So how, so how come we wouldn't just pull 232 or whatever it is out of the reserve? Uh, the purchase was 260. Yeah, the purchase is 260. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Sorry, sorry. My brain was real slow. Okay. You must be on holiday mode or something. Yeah. Okay, where was I here now? 11.3. Uh, 11.3. Resolved that bylaw number 5, 2020, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for the following special services, fire protection, street lighting, street cleaning, sidewalks and boulevards, ditches and drainage, doctor recruitment, snow removal and dust control, road maintenance and, re and, road, sorry, road maintenance and reconstruction, and emergency measures for the town of Swan River for the years 2020 and 2020, both inclusive, be read a second time. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Deborah Mayor Wintoni. Discussion, Councillor Gray. Should that be 2020 and 2021? It is. I know, but when you read it, it was 2020 2021. So, anyway, I'm going too fast. And, and <laughs> for the years 2020 and 2021. And just with respect to this and the prior bylaw, if you recall my thought that we were going to revisit those bylaws um, when we started the budgeting process um, because I wasn't entirely happy with the vote even for this year. But I'm moving. I just want to get to the Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Eleven four. Resolved that the bylaw seven two thousand and twenty being a bylaw to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for the purchase of a firefighting incident command vehicle be read a second time. Moved by Councillor Morio, seconded by Councillor Gray. Discussion? Quarter vote. Okay. All in favor? Opposed? Did you get that? Okay. It's carried. You, you don't speak against it. <clears throat> oh, I, I spoke against it when it was. Okay. We're past that. So, yeah. resulted bylaw 8, 2020, being a bylaw to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for the purchase of a loader backhoe for the V Red a second time. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, second by Councillor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. There's only bylaw 9, 2020, being a bylaw to provide for the repair and renovation of the Richardson Recreation and Wellness Center, Whirlpool, HVAC, and building envelope, including gathering, planning, designing, and other related requirements be read a second time. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Result of the Town of Swan River Bylaw number 12, 2020, being a bylaw to establish a reserve, reserve fund for the replace, replacement of ta rental tables and chairs be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Friesen. This is a recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> Resolved 
resulted by law 3, 2020, being a bylaw to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for rehabilitation of the water mains, water and sewer services, road structures and drainage, and the provision for temporary water services, including auxiliary works thereof on Main Street from Provincial Trunk, Trunk Highway number 83 to CN Rail Crossing be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion, recorded vote, all in favor? It's carried. Are you your worship lawyer or some recorded and some not? On the third reading, it's recorded Thank you. automatically. Good. Resolved by law number four, 2020, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for police protection as a special service for the town of Swan River for the years 2020 and 2021, both inclusive, be read a third time and passed. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, second by Councillor Gray. Recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. Resolved by Law 5, 2020, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for the following special services fire protection, street lighting, street cleaning, sidewalks and boulevards, ditches and drainage, doctor recruitment, snow removal and dust control, ro road maintenance and re re reconstruction, and emergency measures for the town of Swan River for the years 2020 and 2021, both inclusive, be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Friesen. Recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. Thirteen. Resolved in pursuance of sections 152.3 of the Municipal Act, Council go to committee and close the meeting to the public. Items of discussion will be uh, the legal matter and also there's some uh, personnel uh, issues as well. So, uh, moved by. Are you the chief board there? Are we doing that? I think we'll do that next week. That would be an open session? Um, okay, we'll talk about it here. No, no, we can talk about it <clears throat> going camera next week. I just wanted to make sure we weren't doing an open session. We can put it on here, G4. Okay. Moved by <coughs> Councilor Friesen, seconded by Councilor Gray. All in favor? Is carried very camera. Thank you.